Ho, ho, hello! You've reached the desk of Santa! Christmas tree. Hi everyone, it's Michelle Barada. Happy holidays! It is officially holiday season and I'm going to show you some really easy ornament DIYs. So I think we should just get started. You ready? Let's go! The first project is actually a two-in-one project. We're going to make an ornament out of twigs and then we're going to make a wall hanging that we're going to have little twinkle fairy lights on them that is so darn cute. First, you're going to need to go and collect some twigs, and then you're going to start assembling a star. Decide how long you want your twigs, and you can simply cut it with a little uh, scissors or pliers, and we're just going to assemble the star. Just hot glue the little areas and continue until you get to the last one, and you're going to have to slide that one in because if you put it on top, it will not glue together. So see how it fits perfectly? That's important. And then just put a little dab of glue. Next, I took some butcher twine that's red and white, and I had uh, cut it so that there's a tail on one end so you could wrap it around and kind of have a little um, wrap section at the top. And then I'm also gonna give you a different choice if you don't wanna do that. You can just use the twine or ribbon and you're just gonna hot glue it to either side. And then it's ready to hang on your tree. Now I found some fairy wire and this I don't really need to show you how to do. You're just gonna wrap it around a large version that you make and then hang it on your wall. So festive, I love it. This is on top of my wine bar. Our next project is a beautiful scrap fabric ornament, and we're gonna visit my son's studio. He's a clothing designer for this one. Tristan. Yeah. Can I grab some of your scraps? Yeah, of course. Tristan designs clothes, and they're all out of vintage quilts, so he has a lot of scraps. So I took some scraps and made them into little strips and took the batting. Now you could do ribbon, you can do any kind of fabric you want and just tear it. There's no rhyme or reason. Everything goes on this one. You're literally gonna take a foam ball, you're gonna hot glue the scraps on it and just keep going until it looks the way you want it to look. You could do it all in one color like it, or you could do it like in multiple colors or like I did. I have a bunch of scraps from Tristan's studio. Next, you're gonna take a wine cork and an X-Acto knife and you're gonna cut a little end off of it and then you're going to make a hole in the center. Then put some hot glue in it, take a ribbon, fold it over, and then attach it to your ornament. Look how adorable that is. I think this one's my favorite. Our next project is a snowy bottle brush tree ornament. And we're gonna take the miniature little bottle brush trees and some little glass bottles with corks. We're gonna take the cork out and take some glitter and pour the glitter inside of the little glass bottle. And then what you wanna do always is put a scrap paper underneath there to make it easier to then funnel it back into the bottle. Now I took the little bottle brush and I put it on the top and I did put a little dab of glue in there to hold it in place and then I took some twine and I added it on both sides long enough for it to hang on the tree and then I took one more little piece of twine and then I hot glued it to wrap it around just the little top portion of the glass bottle. I thought this was so darn cute. It's like a little fairy winter wonderland. Then you're gonna snip off that little end and it's ready to hang on your tree. Christmas tree brings to us such joy and glee. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. 
Next is a super easy one. It's a seashell ornament. And we're gonna make a bunch of little ornaments. And this is on a miniature Christmas tree that I have. And you take your shells and some twine and hot glue and just cut about, about six inches, flip it over, and just hot glue right in the opening of each shell. It's a super, super easy project. And what I love about this one is this could be great if you wanna add this to a gift that you're giving somebody. You can tie it right on top of the box. That I think is a cute idea. And you, like I did, I took all the ornaments and put them on a separate little tree because my house is kind of a beach theme. So it looked perfect on the little tree. If you want, you can also add a little more decorative twine on there. Like this one, I added it right on the front and, and then just wrapped it around just to add a little more element onto it. But I think they're so cute. I hope you guys loved all the projects. I mean, this one is so cute. I think they all turn out great. And everybody loves my star twinkles hanging on the wall. I hope everybody loved today's DIYs. I think they turned out great and they were super fun ornaments to make. And I think my favorite one was the scrap ornament. I love the way that one turned out. I wanna know what you guys think, which is your favorite. And if you're gonna try these DIYs, I wanna know how they turned out. So be sure to comment and let me know. And also if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you're notified of new DIYs. And until next time, happy holidays. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanged.